Hi, it's Scott Bassett of the Understanding Narcissist channel. And in this episode, I want to talk about a very basic, simple principle that you can apply in your understanding of narcissists right away called the uh, victimization principle. And the victimization principle is really important because it highlights um, narcissists' use of uh, positioning and social positioning. And the reason that's so important is because it allows you to kind of get inside their head as to what they're thinking about their environment um, while they're manipulating you. And every interaction, every communication, every attempt to, to get you to do something, to make you think something or believe something that isn't true. Um, and that also applies to how they manipulate other people. So um, the the first idea I want you to think about is the concept of a victim and why this is so important. Now the the way narcissists approach any conflict, um, any attempt at manipulation is to behave as if and project the image of being a victim which naturally makes you assume the role of the abuser or the person trying to make them do something, the person who's unjust, the person who's unfit, and being unfair. And in simplest terms, it means they're good and you're bad. So the, the reason this is so powerful is because of justification and self-righteous um, reaction. Because victims can do whatever they want. If it provides a fantastic cover for the bad things that narcissists do if everybody uh, assumes or believes that they're the victim in a relationship or in a, in a conflict in anything, any kind of social interaction. This also harkens back to the child um, concept I related to, I'll, I'll relate to in, in further videos, which is narcissists believe that they're children or they feel like they're children. And how this works is a child is always a victim. Um, no matter what, it's the, it's the default uh, response, uh, say, in babies or in children, because they're powerless, because they have no control, because they lack all um, control over their environment. And so the way they get things done is by re responding to a bad stimuli of some kind or, or something bad something bad that happens and getting their parent to do something about it. This is the exact same interaction that in relationship they have with you and what they expect of you. You are the parent and they are the child. So in every case, anything that comes up, they will always find a way um, very uh, usually passively and instinctively, but very masterfully uh, become the victim, and particularly the child that you are responsible for, no matter what it is. Now in later videos we'll get into more advanced examples, but this, this is just the general principle and basic idea. And so when um, another thing I want you to think about is the environment in which the narcissist is manipulating you. So in every interaction, this is what's what's going on in their head which is um, this is the this is the visual in their mind the visual I want to have to put in your mind which is you and them alone in a room and what they tell you and what they do and what you see and then w how they behave in front of a group of people or in a social environment or setting or the sphere so those two, those two things are what's in their mind when they're generating all that stuff that they use to bother you, to control you, to manipulate you. And they're, they're concerned with generating an image, an illusion that you believe and that others will naturally assume is the case. And that, that will be a universal with every narcissist, which is they're the victim, they're putting up with you, they're really good for putting up with you because you're such a mess or you're such a difficult human being or whatever it is. There'll always be a reason. They'll always find and pick the convenient things they can use uh, within that narrative. So that's what I want you to keep in mind. And the victimization principle um, 
especially in the particular case of self-victimization. Because the reason victimization is so powerful is because the narcissist actually believes it. Um, and it's not exactly false. At some point they were victimized. At some point there's some in their formative years, in their childhood, uh, formed them into who they are today through abuse and emotional trauma. There's no exception. There's no getting around that. It wasn't, you know, they're not some kind of spontaneous, inexplicable thing that just formed out of nowhere. It's, it's, a, it's a result of conditioning in their upbringing. It always is, like all of us. So with the victimization principle in mind, you can see how it, there's kind of a duality to it, where it is true and it's not true. It's true in a historical sense, and it's true to, to them in their minds, but in every instance, every situation they approach, they're the victim. They'll never say it. It never comes, it never comes across directly, but you always feel it, and everybody always, that's the first um, kind of inkling they get. Anybody who's peering in from the outside, that's what they're going to project to make it really look that way, because to justify everything, a victim, the, the, the real power of, of being a victim is that you can justify anything in response. A self-righteous victim ha can react in whatever way and explain away whatever they did um, because they were wrong, because they were put in a position where they, they, they're up against the wall, they have no choice. Um, and then the narcissist in particular, their favorite is that they care so much, they get worked up emotionally and don't know what to do about it. So maybe they make mistakes, but it's only because they care. That's their favorite explanation. So um, thanks for watching and like this video, uh, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you're looking for even more information, I've written a book called The 16 Signs of a Narcissist that I've um, put a link to in the description box. So check it out if you're, if you're interested for more information or you're trying to identify a narcissist. And um, have a great day.